Hi, this video is about why I threw my Mac in the trash. I know some of you would be super happy if I was willing to give this makeup to you, but you don't want it. It needs to go in the trash. All these co companies that I've worked for for years and years and years, uh, being a makeup artist, have just poisoned me. And it's really funny because when I used to be a makeup artist, I'd have this thing where my hands would swell up so big that they look like I was stung by 100 bees. And uh, somebody told me it was probably paraben poisoning because I'm always putting makeup on my hand as a, as a makeup artist while I was doing makeup. And years and years and years of that, and years of having my makeup done professionally at, for photo shoots when I was a model, uh, all of those things combined have just made me this toxic sponge. And I decided, you know, a while back to get rid of all of my makeup and I'm finally throwing it all in the trash because I have switched over to all natural, cruelty-free makeup, makeup that's actually good for your skin and healthy for you and you don't have to feel bad about putting on, makeup that if you have a blemish and you're covering it up, it's not actually gonna make your skin worse. If anything, it might make your skin better and hide the blemish at the same time. And it's taken me years to, get, to acquire a collection of cosmetics that were natural that I actually loved and that I wanna share with you. And that's why this video is so important to me and I've gone through so many brands and so many companies, you don't even know. I'll show you the stuff that I love so that you can not have to go through all the things that I went to through to find them. So I'm gonna share all the companies and products that I love with you and I will be updating this video continually. I will keep redoing these videos as I find new products that um, I try that, um, that kind of fit into this arena and this world, I will re-update my video. So this is gonna be the video 2016, why I trashed my Mac and moved over to all natural makeup and I'm getting an even more beautiful result than I did with all of my chemical makeups. So if you're interested in that and my everyday routine, uh, go ahead and keep watching and I'll show you how to accomplish that. Okay, so let's get started. So one of the first things that I use, um, of course, the most important thing you can possibly do before you're gonna do your face in the morning is drink a big, tall glass of filtered water. So hydration is super important in the skin. That's what it, most wrinkles are dry skin. So one of the most important things you can do is make sure you're hydrated. I'm gonna drink a big glass of multi-pure filtered water because I know that that is gonna help my skin look youthful and it's super duper important. So drink water. After you drink your glass of water, you're gonna hydrate your skin. I already used some Suki moisturizer just to get my skin prepped and ready to go. As you can see, I need some help going on here. Um, so I'm gonna start with what I would do every morning. And um, this is kind of why I brought you guys here today like this. I was like, I'm gonna be doing this anyway, so to show you what I do. So anyway, so I'm gonna start how I normally would start. And the first thing I do in the morning is I start with RMS Beauty Uncover Up. And my cover up is 33. So my skin tone is kind of the color of, as you can see, it's super pale. And I always look so wonderfully tan in my videos and I'll show you how I achieve that. So um, this is number 33, which would be the kind of the color of um, maybe like a regular Caucasian person with a really good tan or um, somebody that might be Spanish. Um, a lot of people refer to my color as like the Argentina color. So um, I use number 33 in the RMS Beauty Uncover Up. I love this concealer because uh, it is coconut oil based. It's super duper natural. And um, they tell you to use your finger to apply it because it kind of melts the coconut oil. But what I have found is this little brush, um, this is from Sephora, I'll put all the details for all the brushes in the description box. Um, it kind of melts as you do it. So it kind of works as like an airbrush effect. So this is kind of in a sense going to be my foundation since I don't wear foundation. So I'm just gonna swirl a little bit in there. You're just working with a very tiny, tiny amount and you just build. So the areas you obviously focus on is anywhere you need coverage. So I do around the eyes, around the nose, around the mouth, and anywhere else I need it. So I'm just going to start around the nose. As you can see. And around the eyes. And it really does work just like an airbrush. As you can see that, and it blends in. And it just melts, the heat from your skin kind of melts it in. And it looks just like skin. And I like this brush because it really gets in everywhere. I always make sure I get through my eyebrows. 
Can you see the difference? It's nice and bright around here, but it doesn't look white. Get right in there. Okay, so as a makeup artist for 15 years, so of course I have thousands of dollars worth of makeup accumulated, and I can't use any of it now because I refuse to. I'm not gonna use MAC and Chanel and all those companies I work for because I don't wanna put poison and parabens and bad ingredients on my skin because all those things get sucked up and go right into your bloodstream. So, so that's our concealer, which foundation. I mean, the really cool thing about this is I've had this for almost a year and look how much is left. Um, I love when companies really give you kind of a high payoff of pigment and coverage with a small amount of product for my shadow. And I'm showing you my everyday fresh face that I do um, every single day. Uh, this is the Active Light. This is actually an under eye concealer and it has some really amazing ingredients like green tea and uh, cucumber. It's really cooling and kind of healthy for your skin. I found that Jane Iredell does a really excellent job with ingredients and everything serves a purpose. If you're using it to cover up a blemish or under your eyes, it's actually going to have ingredients to help the skin as where most cosmetics make the skin worse, like if you're using like a concealer from the, the department store, it's probably gonna make that blemish worse. So um, I really love and appreciate everything Jane Iredell does, and I love their packaging, it's beautiful. It's kind of like fancy gold. Um, but yeah, I love that everything that they do serves a purpose. So this is the Active Light Concealer, but what I do is I use this for, um, for strobing and highlighting. And it is beautiful. I absolutely love this product. So I take this anywhere I want a little highlight. So I'm gonna dab it around my eye, right there. And this product dries powdery soft. It doesn't leave, it doesn't, isn't shiny, which I love because I don't like shine unless it's very, very strategic. So it gives you that brightening effect. Make sure you blend it in. I do the tip of the nose here. On the side. Cupid's bow. That defines and highlights the lip. It's gonna look funny now, but it'll look good later. I do my little line here since I don't do Botox to just kind of make it diffuse away. And under the brows, do the whole swipe there. This creates that really beautiful, perfect brow for when we fill in our brows. Both sides. I love this little brush. It's so easy to control. And my I notice with my finger when I blend this, my finger really doesn't absorb the product, it just spreads it. So I use a very tiny amount. Make sure everything's blended. So everywhere. Next move. Um, contouring. I do a really simple contour. Is Alima Pure makes a contouring powder that I love. And the contouring powder, this is newer. Um, I just ordered it. And when I first saw it, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna return it because it doesn't look like it's gonna be dark enough to do anything, but it really is kind of magic. Once your oils mix with it, it totally changes. So I have this MAC brush, it's the 225 brush, and I use it. And see how that color builds? So if you're fair, you just don't use as much. I always start with the cheekbones because I don't have any. Come down the nose, same brush. Okay, see, my nose is all of a sudden gonna start getting cute. Now you know my secrets. I don't have a super cute nose like it looks like in my videos. Go through the eyebrows, create yourself a nice. And like I said, the makeup that I'm doing today is kind of everyday makeup. And what I always say is, do how you do normally and just add a step. Uh, I think contouring is a really amazing step because it makes the skin look really beautiful and polished. It creates highs and lows. It creates light around your eyes. It makes everything look really sharp, pulls out all your features. Okay, that's, our, that's my contouring. If you want, you can do a little bit of that. 
you know, a little bit of that. So that's the Alima Pure Contouring Powder. It only comes in one color. It's called Sombra, unless they come out with more colors. I'm not sure if that's going to happen. If you have a dark, quite a bit darker skin than I do, um, I don't think they'd have anything that works for you because this is their only color. And like I said, it builds, but it's only going to build so much. So the next thing I do is I use my bronzer. And um, the bronzer that I have found to be like the most beautiful color on and have the best longevity um, in the natural world is from Bare Minerals. And it is not warmth. I don't like warmth. Um, it's called Faux Tan. So my first Faux Tan container was very, very huge. Probably more than twice this size. And I've noticed it shrunk and shrunk and shrunk. Yet the price is not, <laughs> sadly. So, um, but this is what it looks like. It's that Bare Minerals brand. So their Faux Tan bronzer is amazing. Watch, I'm gonna come to life. So forehead, kind of where we contoured, but in a bigger, I'm just using the MAC um, powder brush. What's it called? 150. I worked for MAC forever, that's why I use their brushes. And I got most of them for free or really cheap. And that's the only reason I use them. If I were going to buy brushes now, I don't know that I would buy their brushes. I think there are other companies that have good brushes as well. Um, so look, life. Life is happening. All right. See? Starting to look alive. Starting to look like I'm actually a little bit black since I'm half. Okay, so I'm coming to life. And now you notice how horribly bad my brows are. So I'm just gonna take a little spoolie and sh kind of put them where they're supposed to go first because they need some love and they need some life. So um, the one thing I haven't tried is a natural eyebrow pencil. I'm just killing off the rest of my Anastasia brow pencil. Um, they don't even make this one anymore. It's called Brunette Dark Brown. Uh, and then I'm gonna switch over to a natural one. Um, I don't know that there's anything wrong with this product line for the brow pencils. I'll have to look into the ingredients, but I'm just still killing it off. I actually only use it for the corner. So where I like a little bit more definition, I'm going to pull it up in the corner and just fill in. I just like the way this brow pencil works. It was one of the only brow pencils that I've found over the years that I really loved because I don't like a, um, this is really hard to do on the camera. I don't like a really waxy, shiny brow pencil. And obviously that lady knows what she's doing when it comes to brows. I remember when I worked at Nordstrom and they first got it and we were all like, whoa, many, many years ago. I make myself feel old when I say that. I guess it was a many, many years ago. It's a long time ago. So I just do the corners with a pencil. Um, and it's called the Great Shape Brow Kit in Brunette. And it has a wax and a color. And I like, you know, I always call the brushes that come with kits throwaways, but this isn't a bad little brush. I like mine a little thicker, so I'm gonna use mine. Um, but what I do, and this isn't not probably how you're supposed to do it, but I actually spray it and get it a little, I like the powder a little wet. And then I use my really thick brush. Use the wet powder just really lightly. And I fill in. The reason I do wet is because I like a little bit more color. See it in this? See how we just kind of go upward with the hair, really light. And then across the bottom. Just fill in. And I could never do that with a pencil. It's not going to look as natural. So I just use the pencil on the, in the end, on the part that I want nice and crisp. Okay, and then once we're pretty filled in, see? You have a little bit more control with a brush. Extra step. I know how everybody is about steps. They're like, oh, get, make it simple. You know, but um, 
It makes a huge difference to have filled in brows, doesn't it? It makes you alive. It frames your face, important. So I'm gonna go back in with that Jane Adair Iridell Active Light, and I'm just gonna crisp this line up a little bit. Do that with a brush, and just blend lightly with your finger. Give me a nice little beautiful brow. And like I said, I do this routine and it takes me 10 minutes. So if you're sitting here and looking at all the stuff going, that's crazy, that's too much stuff. When you're just doing it at home and getting out the door, it doesn't take that long. So I'm also gonna highlight the inside of my eye with this. And I really love this concealer because it actually does de-puff. And if you get puffy in here, it is so helpful. And I know you're looking at my eyelashes and saying, oh my gosh, she has super long eyelashes. They are not real. They're eyelash extensions. So they're like the individual permanent ones. So that makes my life a lot easier too. Okay, see? Look, I'm looking alive. Focusing on just making the skin look beautiful. I don't want people to look at my face and be like, oh, she has really good makeup. I want them to say, wow, she has beautiful skin. You know, I just want my skin to look beautiful. I want it to look put together when I'm out and about. So I'm just doing a really natural look today and it might like feel dramatic to you, but it actually photographs really natural and looks really natural. Setting powder. Um, I really love the Alima Pure. Um, they have these brand new pressed powders. I never ever used the spongies. It's just dirty because it was sitting in there. Um, it's old. But I'm just gonna dust it over areas like under the eyes that I just wanna set. That RMS concealer is really creamy. It has a coconut oil in it. So it can tend to be a tiny bit shiny. So we're just gonna set everything. Eyeshadow, I'm gonna do something super duper simple. I'm gonna take that other Jane Iridell compact that I showed you earlier. And isn't it beautiful? It's so pretty. And it's really just, this one's called Naturally Matte Eyeshadow Kit. And I'm going to take the really natural brown color that's right here. And this is gonna be kind of like my eyeshadow contour color. And it has just like the perfect amount of brown in it. Uh, it really just gives you a really nice contour. It's kind of no muss, no fuss. And you just follow your natural shape there. And then I'm gonna take this like really dark rusty brown color. Um, I like, I really like these kind of colors because it gives a little depth without being too dark or harsh. And I'm gonna concentrate that in, in the corner just a teeny tiny bit, just right in here. And then I'm gonna blend it. And you see how that just adds a tiny bit of depth? I'm just gonna take a blush and uh, brush and blend that real quick. So these are MAC 217 brushes, the little white ones. Probably some of my favorite, favorite brushes for shadow. They just pick up a really tiny amount of pigment and blend. That's something I'd actually buy if I had to again. I'm sure there's other companies that make similar, but I do really love these brushes. They were kind of my trusty kit brushes when I used to do wedding makeup. So I just blend that in and I'm gonna use that same kind of like rusty dark color as my eyeliner. So I'm gonna take an eyeliner brush, eyeliner because I do have these long lashes. Long, not mine lashes. Dark color, just this one. It'd be easier for me to use this mirror, but yeah, I'm gonna use this mirror. Yeah. Just a quick. Pull it out a little bit. See that? Little, little off. And then if you want to do a teeny bit, you can underneath. Um, you don't need much. Just kind of accentuates the lashes underneath. And because it's that kind of like dark, it's not super dark color, you're not really closing your eye in too much. It just looks really natural. And there's this really pretty bright color right here. It has a little less shimmer. I don't like to do a lot of shimmer on the actual lid. We're just gonna brighten up right here. And you know, you could have done this first or last, it doesn't matter. And then set this right here. Use your finger. See? Voila. For my lips, um, 
I've yet to find um, a lip liner. I'm only gonna do a lip liner because I wanna show you a complete face. Um, so I need to find one that's natural. So for now, we're gonna use this one and pretend it is. It's just kind of a natural pinky flesh color. It's really, I mean, you can really, you can barely see it. It's actually like the color Kylie Jenner, I guess, wears. My lips are probably bigger than hers. So, just gonna use a tiny bit. So I have this Hauschka lipstick in number 16. And what I have to say about these lipsticks are they really fall apart. I really love the pigment and the color, but they really fall apart. So um, it looks super duper bright, but it goes on really, really light, like this. I see all these women wearing pink, and I've always kind of been terrified of pink lipstick. But now I'm obsessed with it. I absolutely love it. It really makes you look and feel alive, and it makes you look confident. If you can pull off pink lipstick, you just look confident. So um, it's awesome. So uh, this Jane Iredale Sugar Plum is a, uh, yeah, Pharmaca. And um, I don't like it. I don't really like this, the doe foot on this. I don't really like doe foots on any lip glosses for the most part, but um, because I feel like it takes everything else you have on off. So I just, I always just kind of take off a little bit and put it directly on my finger and then apply it. Um, for you guys, I kind of took it off on my hand to show you what it looked like there. It is totally beautiful. And what I like about it is it's not too, it's not so slippery that it removes everything underneath it. Just enough to where you can move your lips and uh, it doesn't get sticky either. But as you can see, it doesn't take off the lipstick that I put on. Just makes it a tiny bit brighter pink and adds a little moisture to it. And I, they smell really good. It's all natural. Um, but they make my lips feel super duper hydrated and I'm obsessed with these. I have quite a few now. I think I have more in the rest of my kit too. But I have like the red currant. It's, like, it's just like shimmer and um, white tea. But I love these. Everything that Jane Iredell does, they do it really well. Everything's like super hydrating. They use all natural products that actually make the situation underneath them better instead of making them worse. I like to give my face a break from makeup, but the, the makeup that I do use, I make sure actually makes my skin better instead of making it worse. So um, Jane Iredell makes this bronzing powder that's kind of really glowy. And it gives you that really beautiful, just sun-kissed look. And this one's called Rose Dawn. And I would show you the powder. It's really, I can kind of show you it. I dropped it and broke it. Um, but it's just really beautiful shimmer. And I use the same, I got this Jane Iredell brush. I don't remember, I got I got this like little kit for an opening of a store. And it came with this and a couple other really cute Jane Iredell products. Like this 24 karat gold champagne color, this dusting gold glittery stuff that's beautiful. Um, but I really like this brush that came in. I don't know if they sell it separately, but you can dust it over your kind of bronzer for that kind of, you can see it immediately. That, that shimmery glow that's not greasy looking, which I love, and you're controlling where you put it so it's not, you know, you're not gonna put it in areas that you would be shiny. You're not gonna put it on your chin and, you know. But I really, really absolutely love that. I think it's super beautiful. Uh, and then I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of blush. Jane Iredell Flawless Brush Blush. Um, I like this a lot because it's that color of like pinky nude. Like if you were just laying out in the sun and you got a little flushed, you got a little pink going on and you've got a little bronzy look, but you'll be able to see that. Just on the apples and then I'm gonna take my setting powder again that's already left on this brush. Just kind of go back over everything. And you can see, finished complete face. A little bit of water with a teeny bit of tea tree oil and you can add like sweet orange or something like that and just mist to set. You can do your face, look put together for the day. What I love is I feel like if you look put together, you will act put together. And if your kids are acting super crazy and you just look put together and you're like, calm, cool, collected, yeah, no. 
I look great, my kids are acting a fool, whatever. You know, it's just kind of a good thing. So um, thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed my natural makeup collection. I'm gonna kind of try to show you really.